Hello friends, in this video I'd like to solve the following problem from the Romanian District Mathematical Olympiad for 12, 10th graders 2015, problem number 3. We wish to solve the following equation. The modulus of z plus the modulus of z minus 5i equals the modulus of z minus 2i plus the modulus of z minus 3i. Of course we are dealing with complex numbers in this problem, as indicated by the presence of this constant i, the imaginary. So here are my hints for this problem. First, express z minus 2i and z minus 3i as a r linear combination of z and z minus 5i. This should be easy. And crucially, use the triangle inequality, which says that if u and v are complex numbers, then the modulus of u plus v is less than or equal the modulus of u plus the modulus of v and of v and crucially the equality is attained if and only if either u is zero or v is zero or the ratio of u and v is a positive real number real number and moreover positive so give this problem a try and i will see you in just a minute all right so let's see first z minus 2 times i pretty easy to see you can verify it easily that it's 3 over 5 times z plus 2 over 5 z minus 5 times i pretty easy to verify because 3 over 5 times z plus 2 over 5 times z is z and we have minus 2 times i Likewise, pretty easy to see that z minus 3 times i is 2 over 5 z plus 3 over 5 z minus 5 i. All right. Now, from this, we can deduce that the, the modulus of z minus 2 times i plus the modulus of z minus 3 i can be written as... 1, 5 times the modulus of 3 times z plus 2 z minus 5i plus again 1 fifth the modulus of 2 times z plus 3 z minus 5. All right. Now I will apply triangle inequality. And I can I can split the first modulus to be one fifth the modulus of three z plus or I can you know what I can take a three also outside so it's three over five the modulus of z plus two over five the modulus of z minus five i plus two over five the modulus of z plus 3 over 5 of the modulus of z minus 5i. All right? And if you look closely, this all simplifies to the modulus of z plus the modulus of z minus 5i. All right. So maybe let's write that here we apply triangle inequality. Right. But notice that we actually want this to be equal to that. We, we in other words, in this place, there cannot be strict inequality. It must be equality. So notice that uh, equality happens. Equality, or maybe you know what? Let's consider first two cases to eliminate uh, everything else. Uh, namely, if z equals zero, then of course, uh, the modulus of z plus the modulus z minus 5i is 5 and it equals the modulus of z minus 2i plus the modulus of z minus 3i. All right. Likewise, if z equals 5i, then again on the left hand side we have uh, 5. And on the right hand side, we also have, have five. All right. Now, if if 
z is not equal zero and z is not 5i then this inequality which i will mark asterisk then asterisk becomes equality if and only if if and only if what happens well as it was suggested these two numbers right here and these two numbers right here uh, ratio of these numbers must be positive positive real number so we can write it succinctly uh, as z minus 5 times i over z is a positive real number a positive real number so you know what let a be a positive number then we have the following equivalent conditions z minus 5i over z equals a well this is equivalent to saying that z minus 5i equals a times z and this is equivalent in turn to saying that z1 minus a equals 5i all right and notice now we see the following uh, we see that first of all a cannot be one a cannot be one then uh, we can write that z equals five one minus a times i so our solutions are complex numbers of this form but let's investigate let's investigate this function right here well let f of a be equal 5 1 minus a for a from 0 to 1 union 1 infinity it's pretty easy to um, verify to investigate this function you can differentiate it if you wish but i will do it quicker notice that limit as a goes to 0 from the right hand side of f of a is of course 5 limit as a goes to 1 from the left hand side of f of a well it is uh, plus infinity limit as a goes to 1 from the right hand side of f of a is minus infinity and finally and finally limit as a goes to infinity of f of a it's zero so we can easily deduce that the range oh you know what maybe let's investigate also the derivative to be completely sure f prime of a is 5 1 minus a squared after applying the chain rule and it is positive of course for a from 1 0 to 1 and for a from 1 to infinity so our function increases on 0 1 and it, it increases on 1 infinity so the range we can write that the range of f is what is minus infinity 0 union 5 infinity so this means if we go back to this equation right here this means that z is in the interval z is in the interval mm, how to write it uh minus infinity times i to zero union 5i plus infinity times i you may ask why are these intervals closed well if we go back notice that we have considered first z equals 0 and z equals 5 times i and we have demonstrated that they also satisfy our equality our equation so they are also solutions so is the reason why I why i have closed intervals right here and if you wonder what does 
infinity times i mean? Well, it means that it's an uh, array on the complex plane. So, in other words, maybe it will be clearer once I visualize the solution set. The solution set is just this union this five i and here we have zero. It's our solution set. It's a subset of the imaginary axis. And that closes our problem. Our solutions are written right here. So thank you very much for watching. I hope that you've learned something new this time and I will see you next time. Goodbye.